have not already met me this is your first time just strolling through my name is Jess Legger and I'm a travel nurse who likes to inspire all nurses new old and aspiring to be the best nurse that you can be because you will be a great nurse you are a great nurse and if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe give this video a thumbs up because it really does help my videos and we can follow each other on Instagram at nurse life underscore jazz legra and uh, we can just throw inspiration at each other like confetti I'm excited so uh, today's video is basically what's in my bag now I love a what's in my bag video it inspires me to switch up what I carry in my work bag now for this particular assignment I am on the night shift and um, this is not a COVID assignment so I revamped the little things of what's on mine because I threw everything but the kitchen sink inside this bag because I wasn't quite sure what I was going to run into now that I've been here for a bit I kind of know what the routine is I kind of know the kind of things I want to run into so I have basically edited what is going inside of my bag I am using a regular regular backpack I think I got it from Target like there's nothing spectacular about it except for the lovely color that it is it's purple and even though this is not a COVID assignment I still carry my reusable um and 95 mass basically um here ready and willing it's available for me so uh one thing about this backpack yes it has let me back off it yes it has like a little well, like jumper cable here that holds this it has two pockets on the side here there's a hidden pocket right here, a little pouch pocket, um, the one of the main compartments, and then like a small little compartment. I guess if you have like a, a laptop or any something, this would be like the spot that you would put it in because it's it's well padded. And then there is a little side little pocket back here, and this is the backpack that I use. Now, I don't really actually go back and forth in this backpack through my ship. Like, I get there and I grab what I need out of it, and that's probably the last time I probably see it unless I went back for, like, on a break to grab, I don't know, a charger or maybe a snack or something. But other than that, the things that I actually use on the floor, I grab out and we're finished. So, you already saw the reusable N95. Inside the hidden pocket, I use it with like my wallet or sometimes like a small snack. It's Pop Tarts. And um, the keys to the car usually are sometimes in that spot. Then we have this little, what is this little compartment up here? Got my portable charger. And this one's from Walmart. Honestly, I think I got this like on a random trip that I forgot my regular portable and I've been using it ever since. It's quick, it's small. And my charger for my phone as well as my uh, headphones there. Is it focus on that? No, it's not. As well as my headphones. These are the Samsung, um, I think these are just the Buds. Yeah. And of course, I have some chapstick. This is just some Vaseline cocoa butter. Cause lips get chapped underneath the uh, the mask. I don't I don't know if anybody's feeling that kind of situation, but yeah, I feel it. Then I have uh, this little chain here that I usually put on to my mask especially if I'm switching between like a reusable um not a reusable you can't reason but like 95 and a regular surgical mask I hate to put down the surgical mask so I like 
would put this on it so that it's around my neck instead of like on my arm or like sitting down on something so I have that what else is in there that's in there and then we end up in the bigger part and here is just two other regular bags back here a little Disney mini little bag I think this is the actual lunch bag to be honest with you but in here is all of my nursing things so I have my stethoscope and I have Pooh who hangs out on here funny thing I think this was like I want to say this was for like a pacifier or something or some sort of nature and um I took him off of whatever little stand he was on and um he just attaches some thoughts to my um uh, my stethoscope honestly and they're like two of them just have the same plum color um lipman but because poo hangs on mine i know who is me um i travel with the spo2 you know how many times this this thing comes in clutch okay comes in clutch i got this off of amazon um they also have like a uniform source too so but it comes in clutch so uh a little thing of just hand lotion um and here are my goggles or this brand is called stoggles and they're pretty good they do they not fog up they don't fog up rarely it's a rare thing they have eraser marker for the whiteboard i have a permanent marker for like labeling things have a highlighter because it's sometimes necessary I do have a pill cutter I rarely use this because what I want to say why I don't use this I don't use this because patients usually have their own like they're patient specific so I never have to whip this out in any kind of instance um, uh oh what's not in here over here is my uh my scissors here and has like a little little tuckle here i also have a um, tympanic oh my gosh a tympanic uh thermometer and this is something I rarely use either, so like I think I've only ever used this one time on the floor. But like I don't some of these things I don't use, but like they're just in case. Um this is my car project. So like if you know you know. You put the the long vial in there, you screw it in, basically it turns into like he that's your plunger and you attach it to the patient so like you know, I rarely use this anywhere either because most of the things are like they're like halving the doses out of a, a third of a dose a pen a reflex little hammer here helps out with my neuro assessments and then my little reference book because I promise you not everything is sitting in my head ready and available and sometimes you just need to double check yourself and this is what I use and it gives me like a little little you know little ah aha right that's how you do it right of course and if it's right here I'm like sometimes I take only like a couple of things and I take the whole bag out there and it just hangs out onto like a little uh, handle of the wow and that's the thing 
And then this lovely little Mickey uh, makeup bag in here has like all of my like needed toiletries that may arise while I'm there. So I have a I have a toothbrush and toothpaste because it's night shift and sometimes you gotta refresh your breath, honestly. Um, I have sanitary napkins in here, tampons, hair ties, hand sanitizing wipes, a bag of like Excedrin, IV Profen, um, Zyrtec, um, ear ache drops, tea, emergency, ginger tea, eye drops, um, IV hydration, little um, toothpicks, because I do have braces on the side. You get twenty between the braces. Like, like everything's in there. And I have that. I like to put everything like in pouches because it makes it so much easier than to like put your hand in the abyss and try to find things where I know like I have a sanitary pad. I need a tampon in the hurry. It's in this bag. I need something for my nursing stuff. It's in this bag. Right, let's go back into this bag. And then back here, I usually have like a notebook or a clipboard sometimes. I at the moment it's just whatever orientation packet this was that I don't think anybody's interested in actually taking from me. But that's it. And of course, you know, your phone, the wallet, the keys. I feel like I mentioned that already. But that is what's inside of my bag for night shift on this assignment. Um, I think it's pretty small, though. I mean, even though it's like a huge backpack, like, it's not a lot that I'm carrying. I mean, I feel like it is just the absolute essentials that is needed <sighs> did well i think it did well no, you just like i threw the whole kitchen sink in there but anyway thank you for watching this video if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe give this video a thumbs up because it really does help my videos and we can follow each other on instagram at nurse life underscore jazz allegra and let's just throw inspiration at each other like confetti and if you too are a night shift nurse what is your main essential that you absolutely need absolutely need. we're not talking about the stuff that you need to get your job done i'm just talking about something that you're like listen you haven't thought about it you need this go ahead and drop that down in the comment i would love to know i don't i rarely do night shift and when i do i'm just like i feel like i struggle to get back on a night shift routine um so like i would love to see or hear or read really what you guys out there are doing anyway guys see you next week bye